Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads. Today I've got a review of Everlast's Elite Lace-Up Training Gloves. Everlast of course have been involved in boxing equipment since 1910. Uh, more recently they've got a bit of a, a, a damaged reputation I would say. Uh, some people call them Neverlast. Um, but I would say that that really does apply to the low end, the low cost Everlast stuff that they do. I still consider them to be doing some great stuff at the top end. Uh, obviously, and this is a pair of gloves which retails at 129 US dollars. So this is very much at the top end of what Everlast do with their boxing gloves. And this is a review, so I'll show you all aspects of the glove. So you can decide if it's a glove that you would want to buy yourself. So these Everlast Elite Lace Training Gloves, not to be confused with the lower priced Pro Style Elite Everlast Gloves, uh, which have got a similar sort of shape at the back there. Uh, these are the top end of Everlast's boxing gloves. As I bring, I'll bring that one there, bring that round, you can see there you've got good protection in the padding. That is a multi-layered foam that is in there. At the back, you've got some excellent padding there and there. And that is their Evershield Tech. And that supports the rear of the hand and stabilizes it. So if I put this on, um, I'm going to be doing this or trying to do this with this hand. That's what I'm trying to do. And as you can see, that section at the back stops me from doing that and keeps a very straight line at the rear of the hand and the wrist which means that that will help you when it comes to sort of protecting your wrist. I'll turn this round. Uh, these laces, I actually put these laces in myself. The original laces got a little bit sort of worn so I put these ones in. Um, you can see on the back uh, I've done this one up so that's how I do the laces up on these gloves just using that bottom one I find that that top one is a little bit high and it just slips down so I do it around the glove like so uh, these gloves they also do come in a velcro uh, but the velcro is a very short velcro that just comes across the front so I would say that I would prefer to have these in lace because of the wrist support that the laces give you uh, as opposed to that very short velcro that they went for on the elite velcro gloves the stitching let me show you the stitching uh, these gloves are made in china as i bring it round yeah, it's good good stitching actually there's a few sort of little bits where the stitching looks a little rough um, so I'll just show you if you can see there a little bit on the back there. Um, loose thread I can see there as well. So only little bits, nothing too major. Uh, when it comes to the stitching, my biggest gripe with these gloves is this line of stitching here. That goes at the rear of the fist, all the way around, through the punch surface to the front of the glove and back up. Again, over that punch surface and here. And that, for me, that seam rules this glove out as a sparring glove. Because I think that that would be a little rough um, if that was to like, clip against someone's face or, or sort of eye. I do think that that seam is a little rough. So I wouldn't want to be punched with those on. Um, so you can't expect your sparring partner to be punched with those on either. Uh, also... Because uh, this is a synthetic leather, that bit round there is a little rough. Also, the creases in the thumb is a little rough. And round there is a little rough. So if you did have a bit of a scuff, again, that's not going to be great for your sparring partner. Uh, and again, just another reason why I wouldn't use these in sparring. Great for the heavy bag and for the mitts. When I put them on, as you can see... They're already in a fist position. All you have to do is just tighten your fist up. So they're in a very fist-like position to start off with. When it comes to opening the hands, it's a real effort. That would get better as you use them. 
But, you know, right from the start, they're not great to catch shots. A further reason for me not to use them in sparring. As you know, I like to catch the shots. But when you're on the bag, because they're already in that sort of fist-like position, a little move of the hand and both hands are fist. You've got a firm fist in there with that backing at the rear of the wrist as well and that great padding, um, which means that you can hit the bag all day long and you are very well protected. When it comes to the thumb, for me, it's a little short in the thumb, but I'm, I have to say it's not uncomfortable. It is a, a decent thumb. Um, but my thumb is right at the end of there. These gloves, they come in uh, great style, I think. I think the Everlast there looks great. Everlast sign there. The Elite Evershield right at the bottom there. Um, it's coming off these ones, but Greatness is Within was on the grip bar. And then you've got the little sign there that says Large. Large is 16 ounce. They come in medium, which is 14 ounce, and they also come in extra large, which is 18 ounce. And they come in three different colours. The black, which I do like, which has got a bit of yellow in there. You've also got a really nice blue and a really nice maroon colour. So really stylish. I think as with a lot of Everlast stuff, they've made a really good job on what these gloves look like. Bring that round so you can see how I've done the laces on there as well. $129.99 from Everlast.com. That's dollars, US dollars. Uh, and in the UK, these retail for the same, really. $129.99 UK pounds. They retail in boxing shops in the UK. Um, what I would say to you is if you can get onto the lists that Everlast do on everlast.com then every so often they do have some quite significant discounts that they offer on their gear uh, and if you could pick these up cheaper than the 129.99 then i think that you would have a real bargain so in summing up i really do like how they look i like how they feel they perform great on the bags but unfortunately not for me a sparring glove um, I would definitely be using these just on the heavy bags. So I really do like these gloves. I like the way that they look. Uh, they do perform very well on the bags and in mitt work. Um, I think there's a missed opportunity for Everlast with this glove. If this glove had been leather, it would have had a lot of the sharp sort of corners and creases off there. Also, if they hadn't have added that stitching all the way across the punch surface, which for me rules it out as a sparring glove, if that had been no, no seam there at all, you could have used these in sparring. If they'd have been all leather as well, I think that would have been a better option than the durable synthetic that they've used. Um, so, really good gloves, as I say. Could have been better just with those two things if that would have been the case. But in saying that, as a bag glove, I really do rate them. I think they're very, very good. Um, in terms of a training glove, I would put these above the Power Locks. Uh, Power Locks is the glove that I've had most feedback from viewers to say that the padding in Power Locks breaks down far too quickly when you use them on the bags. I would also, when it comes to a training glove, uh, and using on the bags, put these above the MX. Um, although when it comes to sparring, I would put the MX glove above these and the power lock. So for the bags, it would be this number one, number two, the MX, number three, the power lock from Everlast. Um, and then when it comes to sparring, I would come put the MX at the top, then the power lock, because I still think it's a decent sparring glove. And then I would put this in third position uh, when it comes to sparring. Again, just because, mainly because of that seam and the sharp sort of edges to this glove. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.